Welcome to this video demonstration of green filing. In this video, we are going to show you how to file a new case. I've logged in and I've landed on the green filing dashboard. Uh, to start a new case filing, I'm just going to click on file a new case. And we're going to land on our new case filing screen and we'll just go through each step. So the first step is to select the court. I'm going to start typing Santa to narrow it down to Santa Barbara and select Santa Barbara. Next step is to select the case type. So I'm going to start typing civil so I can narrow it down to civil case types and I'll just select this other case type. Next step, we're going to start adding our documents. So we need to select the document type. I'm going to go ahead and select complaint. You can expand upon the document description if you'd like, but I'll just leave mine as complaint. I'm going to browse out and select my document to upload. Uh, so I'm just going to upload my Word version of my complaint here and then click add and upload and you'll notice once uploaded it'll display here as a hyperlink and now it's a PDF document so we do convert your word processing documents to PDF upon upload which is what the court requires. I'll also attach my civil case cover sheet so we'll grab that as well and this demonstrates that you can upload multiple documents in a single filing submission so I'll just stop there with my complaint and civil case cover sheet the next step here is to choose a document security for each document and we also have the opportunity to select optional services provided by the court so look through these to make sure um, none are needed. In this case I'll select a advanced jury fee since I'm requesting a jury in my complaint. And I'll stick in a quantity of one for that. And in our next step we're going to identify the parties since this is a civil case we have a plaintiff and defendant ready for us so we'll just enter those parties first name last name I can select the representing attorney and then we have an address city uh, and then we'll move on to the defendant last name And for my defendant, I'll just leave the address as unknown. Maybe I don't have an address for him. Next section here, civil case cover sheet, is actually not used in California, so you can skip over that. Next step is section 7, select parties. So we're just going to indicate we're filing this document on behalf of our plaintiff. And section 8 is where we can add and attach service contacts. Uh, service contacts will receive an electronic service notification of this filing uh, when we submit it. So I'm going to add myself as a service contact and then I'm also going to create a new service contact for my client. This way when I file this my client will get a copy of this filing after I submit it. And we'll add and attach her. Uh, it should be noted that this does not replace service of process. You could add a defendant here or maybe even opposing a counsel. Um, but on a new case filing, uh, this does not replace service of process. You still need to do that. Um, this could be a supplement to that, but it does not replace it. Section 9 here goes over filing fees. So we have $435 case initiation fee, $150 uh, advanced jury fee, nothing for the civil case cover sheet. Then we have the $5 Odyssey eFile California fee and the $20.65 uh, court convenience fee for use of the credit card. Uh, so we're just going to select our payment account credit card here to pay for that fee and then move on to the final step where we'll select the filing attorney. You can type a note to the clerk in the clerk memo field if you need them to know something about this filing. Uh, client matter number is where you can input your own internal case file or case um, numbers. Uh, those will show up on any reports you generate out of green filing. Proposed name is actually a uh, not used in California either, so we'll just go ahead and skip over that. Finally, click on the checkbox here to verify all this information is good, and click Sign and File. Now at this point, we're packaging up your document, we're submitting it to the court. Uh, they're going to acknowledge receipt of it, and then we'll redirect you to our filing status screen, and you will have a Green Filings internal ID, a status of pending, meaning the court has it and is pending review. Uh, the envelope icon means that uh, you've added service contacts to this filing. Date time submitted, this is a new case filing, 
and we have an envelope number which is assigned by the court so um, when, the, when you have an envelope you know that the court has your filing. So that's the filing process through green filing to file a new case. Very quick and easy.